Yeah. You know, we, we probably got a little bit fortunate in that it held off enough where, you know, Kluber went six um, because he was throwing so well. Um, that, and then we kept adding on. Then when Zach came in, he really threw the ball well. So, it, I mean, it ended up being a good day all around, other than it was long, but it's a heck of a lot better when you're up than when you're down. What did you see in Kluber's start? I thought he pitched in both lefties and righties, and he commanded extremely well. I think he had one walk. That was at four pitch walks as a leadoff hitter. And other than that, he used both sides probably as good as he has and just really pitched. I mean, his command was so good. He threw a first pitch strike to 17 of the 21 batters that he faced. When he's on like that, is, he, is this what we can expect? Well, uh, I mean, I think he'll go deeper most days, but I mean, like you just said, he's he worked ahead, he commanded, didn't throw many pitches in the middle of the plate, and he walked one guy. That That's pretty good formula. I'm surprised that ball Napoli hit, kept, it seemed like it just kept going to right. You know, we were talking about it, though, in the dugout. I mean, you could see that that part of the ballpark was going to play small, and because when Nap hit it, I don't think he was real happy with it. You know, he's like, damn, you know, just kept going. Um, that's why it's kind of nice to spread it out a little bit because that could work for both sides. Part of the reason, too, why Tyler found the second deck down. Well, I'll tell you what, though, he hit that ball. I mean, I know that the ball's carried, but he hit that ball really well. What have you thought of him the last three games? Thank you. Well, I mean, it's kind of an easy question there. I mean, you know, I. He's, he's, I think what happens sometimes is, you know, guys like, let's say you hit the home run the other night, you relax a little bit, and, you know, he's, he's, he's showing some production down at the bottom of the order. That's what's really helpful is when we can get production throughout the order, that, that really helps. Terry, just to be able to finish off the homestand the way that you guys did. And you know what, I, I mean, I don't go back very far, you know that, but nice to come out and it's, the last game is a hard game to win and we, we played we played really well. Now we turn the page real quick because we're going to go play a really good Seattle team, but the more you win, the more fun and the more interesting the next game gets. Does the length of this oh. game and the delay of this game kind of help you guys out? And what I mean by that is when you get there by what, 2, 3 in the morning, it's already going to be like midnight, so you guys are already pretty much ready to go West Coast time. Is it? Would, Boy, you're, you're way ahead of me on the thinking. I would say no. I think if we had our druthers, we would like to have played a three-hour game and got there and go to bed.